Hi, Shanna. Hi, Clark. I get to go first. <laughs> Welcome to another Single Over 30 vlog. All right. Thanks. So this week we're going to talk about something that um, a lot of singles, um, it becomes a part of their story, but just by sheer default of their age. And that is that a lot of people that they might be interested in dating have kids or they might be coming into a blended family. And so let's talk about that. Okay. Do you have any questions for me about it? <laughs> Well, I, so we're a blended family, but it was harder for Shanna uh, because she had been single. So there was no real family on her side other than her siblings and, and her mom to blend with. We didn't. I didn't have kids to contend with, but you did. I mean, you walked in from being a single woman to being a bonus mom of five kids plus two getting married plus now a grand. Some dogs. Yeah, a dog <laughs> and now a grandson. So that's really the question for you is that had to be scary, had to be different. Um, you went from, like I said, being single to boom, big yeah. family and, and, and inheriting a bunch of, a bunch of kids. So you tell me, how was, how was, how was that? that? Well, you know, it was really interesting as I tell people because I didn't get married until I was 46, I had kind of a prolonged adolescence. Not that I wasn't an adult, but uh, what I mean is in my head, I still think, I thought I was a lot younger than I was kind of like because of the reality hadn't hit me. I don't know. It's just very strange. Um, but also because, you know, when I would go home to my mother's house for Thanksgiving or whatever, we went to my aunt's or, you know, I was still the kid and I'd show up without a dish and my mom would take the dish. Right. So the first I remember the first Thanksgiving that we were together, um, all the kids were here and I was the, quote, mom figure. I'm not their mom and don't try to take their mom's place, but I was making Thanksgiving dinner and didn't know what I was doing. I think was that the year I didn't have the roasting pan. We didn't have a pan. <laughs> Guess what? I had never took a, cooked a turkey either. We had, we had no clue. But we had we had fun. <laughs> yeah. So um, we did get it figured out. But anyway, so there was just some uh, shifting in my thinking of, I, I felt like I aged 20 years overnight. And then there was some grief involved um, as we were doing this blending. And I know for everyone, because whenever you blend a family, and maybe if you face this in the future, whenever you blend a family, everybody blends kind of in their own unique way. You know, one child may handle it this way, another, another way, the parents different way. And it takes... Uh, everybody takes a different amount of time. So there's no set rule on how you deal with it or how you blend or, you know, it's just kind of messy at first. But there was some grief involved as we went through all of that at the same time that there was joy because Clark's family and all my bonus kids, they're awesome. They're really fun. Um, they all have great senses of humor and they've, um, they've been very warm and welcoming and open to me. But at the same time, there was some grief in realizing, you know, this isn't what I had planned. Um, but at the same time too, I would encourage anyone who goes through this to realize that God is redemptive and that he writes amazing stories. And I think that we have to look at our lives on the timeline of eternity, not just my life is this little pinpoint right, right. now, this right. thing that's happening to me, because I've often thought, you know, I don't know how my life is going to touch future generations. I mean, we just had a grandson. He's absolutely adorable. And so I want to be a grandmother um, as he has three grandmas, but I want to be one of the grandmas um, that is also an encouragement to him and a spiritual influence in his life. And you just don't know the generations that will be affected. So I think we have to get outside of our own little box and thinking this was how I envisioned it to be and stomp our feet and be angry about it. But realize, you ask ourselves, how can I be a blessing? You know, you might come into a family where there's a child that needs you. And I think sometimes we get so caught up on what it should look like, what we think it should look like that we miss out on being a blessing. And you look at Jesus. I mean, his lineage was Ruth and Naomi and Boaz. I mean, they weren't, uh, they were not related to each other. None of them by blood right. and God brought them together. And Jesus Christ came through that lineage. So why would God do that? You know, think that's messy. Seems like he should have kept their husbands alive, but he didn't, he did a different story. So look, it, 
If you're in a blended family situation, there's going to be pain, whether it's the result of a widow, if you're a widower, or if you're divorced or abandoned, there's going to be pain. But that doesn't mean it's not worth it and that God isn't redemptive and he still, you still can't, it doesn't mean you're not going to have still a great and wonderful and long and happy marriage. It just might be a little, it might be a little more difficult. But you know what? If you get married when you're 22, you got challenges too. Yeah. So, um, but that said, I would say, because I want to encourage anybody, because one of the reasons I didn't want to be a part of a blended family was because all I'd heard were these horror stories, right? And I didn't want to have the label stepmom on me. I decided to call myself a bonus mom. <laughs> I, don't I, 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 I like that better. But um, I heard all these horror stories. And I was like, that's not going to be my story. I'm not going to experience that. But I would say, for the most part, our story has been really easy. I mean, it's been easy compared to what I thought it would be. I just built it up in my mind at how difficult it was going to be. But it's been really wonderful. And um, now we have that awesome new grandson. And, you know, you just don't know what God's going to do in the future. So I just want to encourage you that if you find yourself facing that and you um, have the opportunity to become a part of a blended family, first of all, make sure that you pray about it and get some counsel. Uh, because every situation is different and realize the story is not just about you and that really good things can come out of it. Amen. 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 All right. So this week I've created a resource for you, um, some tips on how to help you if you're becoming a part of a blended family. I hope it's helpful. You can click and get it below on YouTube or, um, on, face or yeah, on Facebook where you see this video. I hope this has been helpful and I'll see you next week.